It's Rachel Kelly here. Just wanted to shoot a quick video for you this afternoon, and I wanted to give you some um, some tips, some things that was shared last night, and I think that would benefit you when it comes to uh, creating a daily routine, a daily schedule, and especially if you are a busy mom, if you, you know, or if you have a really busy life, it's really, really important that you have a daily routine. And so last night when um, Reginald and Keisha were on the, the call and they were sharing, or actually she was sharing her uh, schedule, I thought it was pretty interesting because we have pretty much the same schedule. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool because her schedule is very much like mine. And I think that's because we have children. Uh, when you have children, when you have responsibilities, you can't just work your business around the clock. You have to set times aside. And so some tips that I want to give you that will help you in setting a daily routine are following. You know, you want to get up early. You want to get up like 6 o'clock. If you can get up at 5, it'd be great. But the earlier you can get up, the better. So that that way you can get your personal development time. In. You know, whether it's prayer, Bible study, you know, um, journaling, meditation, all those things. You know, they say you can do it any time of day, but I found it to be more powerful doing it first thing in the morning because it guides your day and it helps you to have more of a productive day. Um, and then from like 7 till, you know, maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, you exercise. You can go for a walk around in your neighborhood. If you have a gym membership, you can go to gym membership. And then you come back, you know, from 8 to 10 or a little bit earlier than that, actually, because you got to get your kids to school. You got to get them, you know, get them ready for the day. Um, and 10 o'clock, it's time to start grinding, you know, and within that 10 o'clock time period, and this, again, this is if you are a mom and have children, you know, you want one total focus hour with no interruptions. You don't want anything come in your way. I mean, if you can put in two, but even with that two, you need to take like a five or 10 minute break after that first hour. Um, and, and one of the things that, I, that I've learned is that it's really, really important that you focus all of your energy and attention on something. So if you're trying to, you know, build up your YouTube channel, you want to put all your energy and focus in there instead of trying to jump to this program, jump to that program, do this and do that, you know, all these different marketing techniques. Focus on one thing and then once you good at, get good at it, it becomes automatic to you. You don't even have to even, it won't be a struggle because a lot of times something, when something is unfamiliar to us, it becomes a struggle. Um, 10 o'clock to like noon, <clears throat> you know, to, I have my, uh, hangout at noon. So I haven't been there for like the past week because of my daughter being sick. But, you know, noon is going to be like my personal development time, a time that I help my team to, um, build and grow their personal, uh, growth and their confidence. <clears throat> and then around one, to, one to two, uh, sometimes we're masterminding. Sometimes, you know, I, I'll do my follow-up calls during that time do my videos during that time. Um, one of the things that, that Reginald gave yesterday that I thought was really, really powerful was a process. And because I kept on, you know, like I kind of struggled with, you know, which one do I do when? And so I, I don't mind doing a video. I'll do a video in a minute. But the process of how that worked, um, it was, you know, create a video, share it. <clears throat> and after you share it, uh, go ahead and put it on your blog, right? Then after you put on your blog, go write a quick email to your list, share your blog with your list, share your blog with every other place in social media. And that won't take that long. You know, I mean, and, and you know, because like I was like, okay, when do I write my email, da, 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 you know, all that. Well, this is really easy. Create a video, share it, you know, and there are some buttons under YouTube that allow you to share. And then after you do that, then you want to... Um, go ahead and take that blog, take that um, link and put it on your blog. You can write a few words. You don't have to write anything long and extensive. Just do a summary of what the video is about. Um, and then you can go and create an email. Send it out to your list. You know, you want to be able to, you want to provide content. You want to pro provide value. <clears throat> you know, you want to be yourself. You know, so many of us are trying to be um Somebody else. Just be yourself. Be who you are. And people are going to be attracted to you because of who you are. I don't want to make this video any longer. I just kind of wanted to give you those tips. If you are looking for a business opportunity and you don't have one, then I want you to click the link below. It's down here somewhere or it might be over here. Um, and, and see what I'm offering because what I, what I have uh, will make it very easy for you to be able to start um, generating income online right away. You won't have to wait 
forever like I did for a very long time. It took me a long time before I started making money online. I struggled for a long time. And now this, you know, I have something that's very simple that anybody can do um, as long as you are coachable and as long as you follow directions. My friend, you have a great day and we will see you on the next video.